My top 10 game soundtracks. Now I had to have a good think about this. What kind of soundtracks am I going to include here? Am I going to include the old MIDI soundtracks from like the Super Nintendo, Nintendo, or like Sonic the Hedgehog from the Sega Master System, or Doom 1993, the old MS-DOS soundtracks? I thought that each of these could probably get their own video. So what I'm going to focus on for this video is full orchestral soundtracks. Now if you know this channel you know that I do requests on sleep mixes of video game music so you know that I've spent hours and hours trawling through so much game soundtrack music and I'm also a professional composer. But this is only my personal opinion. I'm not saying that definitively these are the absolute best soundtracks in the world, I'm not going to argue with anybody if they have a different opinion. In fact I would love to see your top 10 in the comments. So in at number 10, Oblivion. With Oblivion, Jeremy Soule really set the standard for RPG soundtracks. Immersive, orchestral, beautiful harp music that just paved the way for future RPGs to come after it. What really stood out to me the first time I played Oblivion on the 360 was this calm, mystical, immersive soundtrack. It really brought the world to life, and as you explored it, the music moved and changed and just gave feeling to everything you were doing. Even now, though the graphics have dated, I still recommend going and playing Oblivion, and that is largely because the music is so beautiful. Now in at number 9, I've chosen Hogwarts Legacy. It is no mean feat to try and follow John Williams. He did the soundtrack to Harry Potter. He's well known as the greatest film composer of all time. So as a composer coming in and trying to meet his standard on a video game, that's an incredible amount of pressure. But under that pressure, Chuck E. Myers, Scott Ricosi, and Peter Murray made some absolute diamond music. If you get a chance to play the game, fly around on the broom and just explore the world, you will definitely understand why I've chosen for this soundtrack to come in at number 9. It is absolutely beautiful and when the action scenes happen it really comes to life and sucks you into the world. Number 8. Halo 3. Out of all of the Halo games, Halo 3 is the one I played the most. Me and my mates played for hours together on split screen when I was younger. There was always that one guy who was screen watching and would snipe you even though there was no way there was no way they knew you were there. But the moment you say the word Halo, you know what you hear in your head. This soundtrack was composed by Martin O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore. O'Donnell actually composed that famous main theme by humming it in his car on the way to the pitch meeting. Halo is characterised by Gregorian chant and like heavy percussion, backed by a full orchestra that brings this sci-fi otherworldly soundtrack to life and makes you just want to play and play and play. At number 7, Diablo 2. Now all the Diablo games have great soundtracks, but there's something about Diablo 2. There is something just more real and more sinister about it. The soundtrack was actually recorded in a catacombs of a monastery, and that's what gave it that authentic reverb and eerie echoey quality, which was perfect for the dark atmosphere of the game. As well as the full orchestra, Matt Yulman, the composer, used a 12-string guitar for the famous Tristram soundtrack, and also a mandolin, which gave it that real folky, dark, real kind of feeling to it. In at number 6 is the Red Dead Redemption 2 soundtrack by Woody Jackson. Red Dead is another one of those incredibly immersive games, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the music for that. The slide guitar, the banjos, the harmonica, like, you really feel like you're in a western. The soundtrack won numerous awards, as it should, and has even been performed at live concerts worldwide. I've also got to give a special mention to the first game and Jose Gonzalez for his contributions to the soundtrack. Red Dead 1 was the first game I ever played when I was riding along on a horse and a song started playing and I actually felt like I was in a movie. That was something really, really unique that I'd never seen a game soundtrack do before. Number 5. Assassin's Creed 2. This was a really hard one to choose. Jesper Kidd, the composer, has done an amazing job on all the Assassin's Creed games, bringing aspects from different cultures around the world into all of them. But there's something to me about the Baroque strings and the lute and harpsichord to evoke the Renaissance feel of Italy, while blending in electronic synthesizers and beautiful orchestral music. This is one of those soundtracks that really, really motivated me when I was starting out to keep pushing my career as a composer. I wanted to make music like that. At number four, Fallout 3. Enon Zur, the composer, is known for capturing desolate, haunting atmospheres. In Fallout 3, he did an incredible job of blending orchestral music with a lot of brass, with this kind of weird, almost Nine Inch Nails-esque, gritty kind of ambient sounds. This soundtrack really created a feeling of isolation and melancholy, 
which you could then beautifully parallel with the Galaxy News Radio soundtrack with all this like classic swing and jazz. Fallout 3 is also incredibly responsible for getting like a generation of people into jazz music, which I just think is the coolest thing. Doom Eternal. I listened to the whole of the Doom soundtrack and the whole of the Doom Eternal soundtrack and it was really hard to make a decision, I've got to say, because Mick Gordon just did a beautiful job on both of them. But the reason I went with Doom Eternal is for the death metal choir. That is one of the coolest ideas I think a composer has ever had, is to get a load of death metal singers and put them into a choir together. There was one singer in that choir who could do Mongolian throat singing, and he jumped on that opportunity and brought it into the soundtrack beautifully. This is the most adrenaline spiking and exciting soundtrack that's ever been made. If you haven't played either of these games, get yourself a good pair of headphones and get into it. This game is an experience, and that is very much thanks to this incredible soundtrack. Number two, Skyrim, Jeremy Soule. Known for its Nordic orchestral soundtrack, Skyrim is one of the most peaceful and beautiful soundtracks that's ever been written. The main theme, Dragonborn, was recorded by 30 singers in a choir who were overdubbed to sound like 90 voices chanting in the dragon language. If you've played the game, you know the nostalgia. In at number one, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft has one of the longest running and most diverse soundtracks in gaming history. Each expansion added its own musical element, the best of which in my opinion, and many other people's opinion, is Wrath of the Lich King. The use of bagpipes and Nordic music in that soundtrack were incredible. And if you want to check out relaxing sleep mixes from every single one of the expansions, you can find them all here on this channel. Subscribe, comment, like, and have a look through other videos, and I hope you'll find something you'll enjoy. Peace.